Hey everybody, welcome to bonus track 16. Uh, this is going to be the first of, we don't know if many, of the, of the series we'll probably be calling the worst of Old Man and Skinny Guy. <laughs> and um, uh, this one we uh, is entitled The Phantom Penis. Uh, for those who are Star Wars fans, you probably already guessed what we're going to be talking about in this bonus track. Uh, but for those who are unsure, uh, that is uh, something that is uh, most Star Wars fans uh, affectionately call uh, Star Wars number one. Uh, and uh, it's kind of discussed a little bit in this track. This bonus track is an actually is an excerpt of an unaired episode. Uh, podcasts you know a lot of people including ourselves try to figure out the best way to podcast uh, best formats uh, things to to do to prep for po for podcasting and for recording and uh, in this one you may probably hear it uh, from the terrible editing and such that uh, we were drinking uh, quite heavily actually uh while we're recording this and we were just trying to do the loosest format ever which which pretty much translates to no format we were trying to experiment and try to figure out hey let's just let's just drink let's have a conversation and see where it goes and it went down the most craziest rabbit hole ever uh in such a way that we're only sh we're only giving you an excerpt because the whole episode was just really rambling and all over the place and a lot of unpopular opinions in it <laughs> as far as Star Wars is concerned. Uh, but this excerpt kind of gives you an idea of where we went with that. Again, we might, this one is unaired. It's not even a full episode. This is about 15 or so minutes of us talking about uh, Star Wars and, and just kind of having that. And again, this has nothing to do with gaming or anything of that nature, but it kind of gives you a general idea of if, if you listen to us on a regular basis, you're probably going to, after listening to this, thank us immensely for actually having a format and uh, not drinking as heavily as we do anymore. As far as when we podcast, when we record, uh, we do have a few drinks uh, just to loosen up a little bit sometimes, uh, a few beers, what have you. But in this one, uh, we were pretty inebriated. Kinda, I guess sloshed would actually be the, the appropriate term during uh, this recording. But uh, it's still it's still funny. Uh, still wanted you to kind of get an idea of where we are, where we were going with this. Um, and if you guys like it, maybe we'll continue to do because we still have some, we still have a number of unaired episodes and going forward, that'll probably continue, uh, where we were just not happy with the way things turned out, but there were like little snippets here and there and we'll continue doing the worst of old man and skinny guy. If you're a star Wars fan, you'll probably get a kick out of this. Uh, you'll probably want, some of you might actually want to hunt us down <laughs> after you hear this, or maybe not, maybe you agree with us, who knows, but. But uh, anyway, we just want you to enjoy bonus track number 16, the worst of Old Man and Skinny Guy, The Phantom Penis. Enjoy. generic bullshit conversation or what i'm gonna do instead is before i came over here i was lumping on my couch like wrapped in a blanket being like waiting for things to come out of the the dryer right chris how deep down the star wars hole have you gone for like expanded universe before disney bought them and they're like all the expanded universe is bullshit we're gonna make our own shit now uh you, you're really gonna make me to make me call me out on my old manishness. No, right now. Like, I, no, because... All right, so... I, like, 
prior to turning microphones on, I was talking to, like, I've been jonesing for original Star Wars. Right, right. right. No, like, I, I am... have not watched in a while, like, probably a couple of years at this point. Like, All right. I need me some Star Wars. All right, I'm giving my official, like, this is how I feel about Star Wars kind of stuff right now. This is how he does it. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get all Montel Williams on this shit? Look, that's Wait, how Montel, we do it, man. Montel, Montel Jordan. I, Montel Williams is... I don't know who that is. I don't know who that... Like, you could, all right, first of all... I would not have been I, able to first call of all, you I, out. I, call, I, well, I called myself out because I realized that Montel Williams is the talk show host. <laughs> and then right. Montel Jordan is the one who actually sings this song. This is how we do it. Which is what you were referring to. Yeah, except I didn't sing it correctly at all. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I knew what you were talking yeah. about. Okay. Um, oh no! I was singing a later verse. I think maybe. I hope. I really <laughs> hope. I don't know. I haven't listened to that song since it was ubiquitous in the nineties. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, what was I saying before that? Uh, oh yeah, Montel my... Williams. <laughs> um, You're an old. Oh, man, Star Wars. Yeah, Star my Wars. old banishness. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, lo- I love uh, four, five, and six. And which... so do we all. Um, one, two, and three. <laughs> so I was watching a bunch of random Star Wars stuff on uh, YouTube before I came over uh-huh. here, and like Shannon's like messaging me, she's like, "Oh, you know, what are you up to?" I was like, "Oh, I'm watching like things about the meanings of like colors of lightsabers and like right. talking about the different like styles of lightsaber dueling." And uh, I was like, "Oh yeah," and they're they're talking about you know this thing from the Phantom Penis, <laughs> and Shannon's like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, episode one, the Phantom Penis. <laughs> nice. Because I'm physically incapable <laughs> of calling it anything else. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's I was fair. In, I that's was in fair. high school when that came out. I'm physically incapable of uh, calling it by anything other than the Phantom Penis. Yeah, so, all right, four, five, and six. I love those movies. Best one for me is Empire Strikes Back. Love me Return of the Jedi. Oh, you you go in reverse order of like chronology. So you go Jedi Empire. New no, Hope. no, no. Em- Empire Jedi New Hope. Like the, oh. that. That's how I like the, those three in that order. So, so my order is actually close but different, as it would have to be if we switched <laughs> any of them. <laughs> <laughs> close. But different. So mine is actually New Hope, Jedi, Empire. And oh. I know I'm a monster in most people's yeah. uh, opinion because of that. Because yeah. people love Empire. Yeah. And Empire is don't get me thing. wrong. I fucking love Empire. Mm-hmm. But I was a real young kid when I watched these movies. Mm-hmm. Like, nuance of storytelling didn't hit me till I watched it for, like, the three millionth time. Yeah. As we all did by the age of five. <laughs> Right. You know, like, then I started like, oh, it's like, oh, wait, Darth Vader being his dad is like a thing? Yeah. <laughs> like, because I watched it so young. I remember being like, I don't know what's going on, but Star Wars on the TV. Like, yeah, yeah. just like a wild eyed, like, I, oh, I fell over because I was trying to walk or like. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Like, I remember being like a young, young, young. Kid. Yeah. I saw Return of the Jedi in the theaters. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean. Shut up. I saw, <laughs> I actually saw. I saw all three in the theaters, but I don't remember. Because Jedi came out 81 or 82. Ooh. Because I think I'm technically older than Jedi, maybe? Um, well, obviously. Well, checking I... <laughs> our cell phones. Let's look this thing up. Nah, 1983. Nah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm older than Return of the Jedi. Yeah. I didn't see it in the theater as far as I know. Maybe I was carried in there. Who knows? <laughs> So, um, Star Wars New Hope, um, I don't remember, but my parents distinctly remember bringing me. Like, they told me that they brought me to the theater. Yeah, you were present. In the same way that perhaps I was there for Return of the Jedi, (laughs) but probably not. Return of the Jedi, I remember, because I was... I don't. I was a year old. I was... Also cracking my knuckles noisily under the microphone. I was nine years years old when uh, Jedi came out. Nice. And so, how many years apart were each of those? I'm I'm about to find out right now. Just, just look up New Hope, and we'll just pretend like we looked up the rest. Uh, New Hope was seventy seven. 
So 77 so, to 83 is six years? Yeah. So New Hope was 77. Uh, I was th- like three I was, years I apart. I was three. And then Empire was 80. And then Jedi was 83. It's almost like they were exactly three years apart. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Bottle vintage. <laughs> I just did. Dude, also, I just uh, went into Cousin It. I don't know why. I mean, we did watch it not that long ago. It was just Thanksgiving, yeah. and I did put it on for us. Oh, I did too. Uh, what was I just going to say about fucking... Empire, Return of Jedi, New Hope, Phantom Penis. No, I had something that was actually like vaguely insightful, and I lost it, but like... <laughs> Let's ignore that and keep going. So. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no, so I, I, that's how I love those movies. And then uh, 1, 2, and 3 came out. And the only thing I enjoyed about... Uh, the two things I enjoyed about the, those movies... Lightsaber co- duels? Collecti- collectively, okay? Lightsaber duels. Was um, Darth Maul, okay... Ray Parks. Yeah, Ray Park. In, uh, who is was... it Park or Parks? Park. Park. Singular. Uh, okay. Yeah. But but one park. Yeah, one park. Not many parks. Um, and a, a vigorous Scottish that, that accent be, that yeah. can never be allowed on cinema, apparently. <laughs> well, yeah, he was uh, dubbed over. Yeah, it, both in, in at the Phantom Penis and in X-Men. What was the first X-Men movie called? It was just X Men. Just X Men. Yeah. yeah. Also in that. No, no, no. That was his voice. He. he oh, did he? That was his he voice. He like yeah. actually toned down his ridiculous, yeah, like, that overbearing was, Scottish accent that no one ever wants to record. Because... That was that was his voice um, <clears throat> in that one, but in uh, Phantom Menace. Also, yeah. also, he plays Toad, yeah. who I both think is the most ridiculous character, but also really like. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Phantom uh, Penis. All right. Um, no, yeah. no, we, we were not quite to the Phantom. One, Penis two, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Uh, Ray Park as Darth Maul was was awesome, and the ensuing oh you're right saber, we, we were in the Phantom yeah so, so, and the ensuing uh, lightsaber duel obviously yeah so uh, can can we take a moment to just note that the the notable like duel of fates like nah, 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 yeah. like that entire nah, 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 yeah like Obi Wan <laughs> fucking Qui Gon the greatest Sith of all time yeah. and. <laughs> And Darth Maul are all dueling. Right. And then Qui-Gon gets struck down, and Darth Maul is, like, standing over Obi-Wan, who's, like, down in, like, a pit, like, in a tube, like, holding onto a light fixture. Mm. Just, like, looking straight up at a sheer, like, wall where there's a dude with, like... Does he still have the double lightsaber at that point? I believe so. Did it get broken at any point? I don't remember. Yeah, it did, but... So, uh, so he probably he just had a single lightsaber, because that's the very end of the fight. Right. Because we all know what happens after the scene that I'm talking about. Yeah. Where he's, like, slashing his, like, lightsaber at the lip of, like, this hole that Obi-Wan's, like, four feet down holding a light fixture. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do, you know, Sith asshole? You're going to jump down here and, like murder me and then use the force to get back out thank god god that would be a great idea if you'd done that <laughs> like, <laughs> like, good, good thing you're not gonna do that you're just gonna like slash your lightsaber at the lip of this bullshit god. G- and give me give me some time to get to yeah to force jump and and fuck yeah, you yeah, yeah 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 because nothing could possibly stop me from doing that <laughs> even though you have the high ground yeah even yeah. though you, Darth Maul, have the high ground, uh-huh. what could possibly be done against that? <laughs> Skip ahead. Skip yeah. ahead. <laughs> you can't win, Anakin. Yeah, I have the, the high, high ground. ground. Yeah, it's sort of like more of like <laughs> six degrees above where I'm standing, but about like 20 feet away ground. <laughs> I, I seem to recall you telling me a lot about that time you were like in a sheer fucking tube. Mm-hmm. With a Sith master, like a bu- well, like not a Sith apprentice, technically, like yeah, directly yeah. above you, like holding a lightsaber directly over your jump path, and you're just like, you know what, I should jump over this guy and then slice him in half and then make him fall into this. Pit. But you don't, you you don't realize what happened there. What, what don't do tell? Did I did I miss a subtle that Obi Wan Obi Wan specifically didn't 
teach Anakin that because he needed to be the master of that move. So <laughs> he, 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 the master of surmounting the high ground. Yeah, yeah. So it was like it was like that. How do you think he became you know Jedi Knight so quickly? It wasn't because you know his master was killed or anything, dude. It had no, <laughs> don't even send me down that road. No, no, please don't go down that yeah, hole. The, like, I have yeah. I have an entire explanation. Uh, don't, don't, no, no, that please don't. That would that Qui-Gon is. Qui Gon Jinn is the greatest Sith of all time. Yeah, and I'm gonna agree with you, and we're just gonna leave it at that. And move we're gonna forward. leave it there. We're just gonna leave it there. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> but why? Like, so I question you. Why wouldn't he want to teach that ability to? block horizontally when someone slashes against like all right let's like let's all be, obi-wan did was literally clear. like let's, stand there and he like anakin tried to like flip over him it's like dead no no let's let's <laughs> like, be very let's be very clear okay as awesome as the jedi were they were a bunch of pricks okay and part of a part of their hold on hold on mm. can we take a moment to at least you know to our due diligence, uh-huh. Kit Fisto is a delightful, like, fish man with, like, fish dreadlocks and a great me, you, smile. You didn't let me finish. Okay. The rest of the Jedi, I don't care what you say about them. Kit Fisto is magnificent. <laughs> All right? And he's beyond reproach. All right. Sure. Sure. We'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll agree there. Um, but I, I have that feeling, and it's pretty – it seems to be pretty obvious, at least to me, that uh, the Jedi, each one of them, has mastered something that no other Jedi has mastered. Like they are, they all each have their own individual thing. Like they all have like the basic skills. Like they all, like we all have these skills. So for example, I'm, I'm, I'm giving the yeah, yeah. So when you say each Jedi, you mean like each Jedi master? Yes, each Jedi master, right? So, and that's and I think that's how they became masters. So, so you're, you're talking about like the dudes in in the conference room or like well, I the think, people with like green lightsabers. I think like, all, what, do you, what do you mean by master? I think all. Who do you, who I think all qualify? Jedi. I think all Jedi. Jedi, in order to keep advancing in rank, need to find that one thing that they can do yeah, that no it, other Jedi can do. Well, it's right? not so much that no other Jedi can do, but that is a thing in like the expanded universe that may or may not be canon anymore. That there's like powers and like attributes that you you have like a sensitivity to, right? Right, that right, you're right. Better right. At. Yeah. Like, so, so Obi Wan is the master of the high ground. Like he <laughs> he he has figured others out. Others would call it diplomacy or a mastery of. <laughs> No, uh, no, no. I forget which form of lightsaber dueling, which is the pure defense style. Which well, no, is he, why he has he figured can't, out. Like, be defeated until he's like, yeah, you can just kill me now, Darth Vader. I need to teach a lesson. Yeah, no, he's got, he's got, he's got it figured out that he can either kill from from. He can kill someone who's on the high ground, or he can kill from the high ground. Like he has mastered. Oh, oh I see. He has mastered oh, that up. technique. You know, yeah. he's like, I, I understand elevation. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> In right. the way that only the Force can know. <laughs> and, he, and that's why that's why he was warning Anakin. I have not taught you this skill. I have the high ground. You've lost Anakin. <laughs> I am the master. I have the high ground. I could defeat you if I was. Seven feet sheerly below you, <laughs> but now I'm ready to use it. <laughs> right? So you underestimate my jump proficiency. <laughs> like no. <laughs> no, like you just put your legs also right, right in the right spot. Am I crazy or does off. does Obi Wan like when Anakin's like jumping over him? He swings once and takes off both legs and most of an arm. Yeah, in like one clean like. What bizarre twirling maneuver was Anakin know. doing? I like, know. I mean, there was a lot of bullshit twirling that happened in the early. And again, who who taught who taught him to do those things? Obi Wan. It was almost like Obi Wan taught him how to be how to be weak in a specific Dude, way. You, you just right? you just want me to go down this hole? No, 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 no. It's not. Dude, so... I'm so ready to go on like a whole Jar Jar. And, no, 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 no. Please and, don't. Please and don't. Yoda and like, oh god. Quite God's greatest nope. of all time. No, but that's what but that okay, but that's what I'm saying is that each each Jedi is a master of a prick move. Have you so have so, you watched any of the uh the the, the film or, or or digital or animated expanded universe stuff? Uh no, I couldn't. Well, well what do you mean you couldn't? You have n- fucking Netflix. Wait, no, have no, you no. never watched no no, 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 physically couldn't. Oh, <laughs> I physically couldn't handle it. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Hey everyone, here's a friendly little reminder from Old Man. If you're not subscribed to Old Man and Skinny Guy Gaming Talk for Everyone, what are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button on whatever platform you're listening to us on. Uh, we're on Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, iTunes, doesn't matter what you're, where you're listening to us. Hit subscribe, that way you'll never forget and you'll always get all the content every Friday from Old Man and Skinny Guy. If you can't wait for content, just go to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash oldmanskinnyguy, all one word. And then you, no matter what patron level you will become, can get Old Man Skinny Guy content earlier than Friday. So, again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to hear us earlier, make sure to go to patreon.com slash oldmanskinnyguy to get that content early. Take care.